Hey guys, it's Harleywood with a non-Olight flashlight review. Imagine that. Today we're going to look at the Claris E1. This thing has been getting a lot of hype and there are countless videos out there referring to it as perfect or near perfect. Mm, it's a really good light. Don't get me wrong. There's one thing that, God, they came so close. If they had hit this one thing, I might be giving it that near perfect moniker also, but it didn't, and we'll get into that in just a minute. Talk about some of the good things about this. First off, the size. This is a really good size. It is an 18650 powered flashlight, and it doesn't get much more compact than that with an 18650. To put it in perspective, here is the recently released Baton Pro from Olight, and you can see the Baton Pro is just a little bit taller. It does have a clicky tail cap as well as a mode lever or paddle, some people call it a paddle, on the bottom. Now, unlike the Olight, where everything is controlled with a barrel button here, the Claris does not have a barrel button. Operation on this is pretty simple. That tail cap button turns it on, and that mode button cycles through the modes. Now, when the light is off, if you click and hold the mode button, you can see there it just went into its moonlight mode. If you hold it long enough, it'll stay in moonlight mode. Now, there is also a momentary on. If you partially depress the tail cap button, not the paddle, but the tail cap button, it comes partially on. When the light is on, push and hold that paddle, and it goes into your SOS mode. When you get this, it's going to be in one of two modes. It's either going to be in its kind of tactical mode or its outdoor mode, all right? The tactical mode means that when you click the paddle, it will strobe. The outdoor mode means when you click the paddle, it goes into moonlight. To change between the two, it's a little bit hard to see, but there is a status indicator right here. Now with as much light as I have in, behind the camera right here, you're not going to see this, but if you click and hold, my status indicator lit up green and I'm gonna wait for it to start flashing. Okay, it just started flashing between red and green, and I'm gonna click the tail cap button and then release. Now when I turn it off and use the paddle, it's in strobe mode. To switch it back, this is the unfortunate part. If it's in strobe mode and you wanna switch it back, you have to click, let it strobe for five seconds, and try to see that uh, LED indicator. Okay, my LED indicator's flashing now. Click the primary switch, turn it off, and now, the paddle does moonlight. Look at the reflector on this. It actually has orange peel around the outside with a little projector lens in the middle. So effectively what this does is when you light it up, you get your hot spot in the middle, but your spill, I can literally see my spill right here, almost directly above my head. It, that, that orange peel outer edge throws this big flood right here. We'll see this when we go outside in a minute and also has a projector out there. Pretty cool, I like that. All right, I mentioned how deep the clip is here. I carry in my coin pocket on my pants. These are almost effectively the same length, but when I put this in my coin pocket, I cannot get this to seat all the way down on the lip of the pocket. Because this is so high and the flashlight bottoms out in the pocket before the clip bottoms out on the top lip. Because this one has a clip that is set down lower, this does not bottom out in the coin pocket. Instead, this seats on the lip of the pocket itself. Now, you do have this little bit sticking out the top. If you don't carry in your coin pocket, this definitely carries deeper. If you do carry this on the lip of your pocket, you're likely to experience it coming on while it's in your pocket. Because of that paddle on the bottom, oftentimes I have found myself feeling a warm feeling in my pants. <laughs> and I look down and the light is actually on because that paddle was being depressed either by my thigh or the pants or whatever. So just be aware, there may be times where this gets activated. On the O-lights, they have reversible clips, okay? So you can clip it like this or you can turn it around and clip it with this one. 
I wish that they would truly make these reversible where it could clip down here and you could carry a bezel down or clip like you see it here and carry a bezel up. It doesn't seem like that would be that hard. Put a recessed ring right here, put one right here, and let me take that off and swap it. Some of you will care about this next point, some of you will not. But if you look at the bottom of the Claris and the angle of it, it is not tail cap standable. Let's talk about what it comes with. So obviously it comes with the flashlight. It comes with a 2600 milliamp hour 18650 battery. It comes with a micro USB charging cable. It comes with a rather nice carry pouch a pack with a lanyard and extra o-rings and then your user manual. Alright, my biggest gripe with this flashlight. On previous Clarises that I have reviewed there are external charging ports. Here is a Thrunite TC15 with an external charging port. If you're familiar with Olight, they have these external proprietary magnetic bases Again, you can charge the flashlight without having to remove the battery. Claris, you were so close on this one. I wish this had an external port to charge it. Now the Claris battery does have a micro USB port on the battery, and there is a status indicator on top of the battery, so it changes color to let you know red is charging and green is charged. But gosh, man, if you had just made it so that I could charge the battery without having to remove it, put the little port on the side. I know it might have compromised the waterproofness, but you've done it on others and it's still they're still waterproof. This was so close to being amazing. A perfect little port right there would have set this off. Let's go over the lumen levels. I'll put them on the screen here. High is 1000 lumens, medium is 400 lumens, low is 100 lumens, moonlight is 2 lumens. It's actually very nice. Some do 5, 10 or 15. 2 lumens is amazing. And then there's a 1000 lumen strobe and a 100 lumen SOS. You can also see the associated run times. Let's take it outside at night and compare it to the 1000 lumen S1R Baton 2. One thing you're going to notice is because this reflector casts such a uh, wide flood, it's not going to look as bright as the similar 1000 lumen Olight S1R Baton 2 because this one has more of a projector. Now you're going to get guys in the comments and they're going to say, well, one's a thrower and one's a flood. Yeah, I get it. But if I show two lights with exactly the same beam pattern and exactly the same lumen level, what decisions does that help you make? At least if I show you two lights with similar lumen levels but different beam patterns, you can decide which one you prefer. Let's go out back. All right. There is the Claris E1. The barn is 60 yards from here. The trailer is about 15 from here. Look at all the flood on this thing. So even pointing at the base of the tree, it's lighting up well up into that canopy of that tree. All right, move that out of the way and I'm gonna bring in the Olight. So again, I told you the Olight is going to seem brighter because the E1 has so much more spill to it. So here is the Olight, here is the Claris. Switch sides with them. The Claris is a whiter light. You can see that down here in the bottom. You can see that looks a little bit whiter. This is a little bit warmer. Here is the Olight, here is the Claris. Let's talk about price. So size-wise, the Baton Pro and the E1 are the most comparable. Now this is 2,000 lumens. Granted, its runtime at 2,000 lumens is pretty low. This is 1,000 lumens with a better runtime. This is $90. This is $50. These are closer in lumen levels. This one's going to carry a little better. This one has some options that this one doesn't have. Plus this is $50. This is about $69, depending on where you shop. So. The Claris coming in at a really strong price. This is a great size. It was very close to being a perfect light. If this had been externally chargeable with a port on the outside, man, it would have been awesome. Petty, you may not care. Um, I, I just think that that would have really put a fine tip on this one. So that's it, guys. 
for $49.95, the new Claris E1, a lot of cool features on it. I'm gonna post a link in the description below. Thank you for watching, guys. If you like this video, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button below. We've got lots more videos to come, and I'll see you in the next one. Look at that starburst right on my face.